Hello everyone and welcome to today's video where we are going to talk about microeconomics. So basically this is the first video in a series of videos that we are going to use to cover the topic of microeconomics in its entirety. Okay, so microeconomics is a branch of economics, okay? Econo economics has two branches. The first one is microeconomic economics and the second one is macro okay so basically econ micro economics is the study of how households businesses and individuals make economic decisions okay for example a household is receiving a salary of fifty thousand okay they have to pay fees for their child they have to set aside money to invest in their future they have to buy food and so forth so we are going to cover how they come up with the decisions on how much to spend on each and things like that. Then macroeconomics is the study of how governments make decisions that in turn affect the business environment within a country. Okay, so basically under macro you cover things like economic growth, okay, employment, you cover things like inflation, you know, government makes the decision to print more money and life becomes more expensive and so forth. Then you also cover things like import and export. Okay, now let's talk about some of the topics that we're going to cover under microeconomics. The first thing we're going to cover is known as scarcity. Basically, resources are scarce, okay? Think of the resources within a country, okay? A country collects money in form of taxes, but that money is scarce. So, the government has to make a decision on how to use it properly. And in so doing, there is something known as choice, okay? Another thing that we cover is known as choice. You have money and you have to choose between spending it on vacation or saving it for the future so basically you have to make a choice or an economic decision okay then another thing that will cover in microeconomics is opportunity cost let's say you have money you have to choose between spending it on food or spending it on rent okay if you spend it on food you are foregoing your rent so that's an opportunity cost okay so basically an opportunity cost is the cost of making one decision okay if i decide to spend my time relaxing instead of studying for example or learning something new then by choosing to relax i am foregoing an opportunity to learn something new then another important thing that we cover in microeconomics is utilities which is basically the benefit you derive from a good or a service okay let's say for example you are hungry when somebody gives you a let's say for example a piece of cake of course you will derive a lot of utility from it because you it will help you to satisfy the hunger but if your stomach is full and i give you a piece of cake then it will not help you at that time okay because your stomach is already full so basically utility is the benefit you derive from something then another important thing we'll cover in microeconomics is marginal analysis where we'll cover marginal benefit which is the utility you derive from one more of something and the marginal cost, which is the cost of getting one more of something. What we'll study here is what is known as the also known as the cost benefit analysis. Okay. Okay, so then another important topic that we'll cover under microeconomics is the production possibilities. For example, you have 10 cups of water and you want to make tea and coffee so you either have to choose if you make 10 cups of tea there is no water left to make coffee so you can make 10 cups of tea and zero cups of 
coffee or you can make five cups of tea and five cups of coffee okay or you can make two cups of coffee and be left with eight cups to make tea so basically those are production possibilities you can create a table to understand how you the limits within you can operate okay so basically those are the topics we are going to cover and much much more in our subsequent videos see you in the next